Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 Plus as Queen Constance Carling. And I've decided in between episodes we're going to join a society, the Dominican Order, which is uh, leading the Holy Inquisition. I feel like this fits. We are not zealous, but we are craven, as in we fear the mystic and occult. Uh, because as I, I've, I've explained this before, our father died and, um, well... We had this mystic Jewish courier who uh, who was a failure, and uh, and we really realized that too late after we already funded him. And so, uh, yeah, I just feel like we've had made a lot of experiences, bad experiences with these guys. So we should join this uh, society just because you know I w I want something that we can do here. Now we start off with less piety and. Uh, with more piety and less fertility. Uh, and I think also that the seduction focus doesn't really fit all that much anymore. I feel like rulership, we are insanely diligent. That's how I kind of see it. Um, and so this is what we want to focus on. We have to wait six more days and we will do that. Then we'll change our focus. There you go. That should be possible now. Awesome. And obviously it fits our ambition as well so overall this is a, an important change now there was one other thing right i did want to change some laws so for example the council somehow decides to uh who's going to revoke titles and i don't like that well whose title we get to revoke and i don't like that we'll also like to change um the women on the council because two of our friends are women and we can't really put them on the council so I feel like we should change that, expand the women's rights there. It makes sense as a female ruler as well. Uh, the problem is the council doesn't like that too much. So, well, there's active cultural conversion. That's cool. Um, but yeah, mm, how, uh, how am I going to do this? Let's check my council here. You... You're returning a favor to Ramon, who is returning a favor to me. Oh, well, that's actually good. Okay, these two guys should vote like he does, and he votes like I do. And then that's one, two, three, four vote. That should be enough. Jocelyn. So, we cannot request his support. What about the Chancellor? Yeah, we can't do... Uh, that should be enough, though, shouldn't it? Let's, uh, let's check that. Go for it. So he voted for me. Then the others should vote like him. Right? No, three are against it. Hmm. That's so weird. Alright. I don't know why. I should have worked differently. But whatever. There it is. And our capital prospers. Very nice. So this might fail, actually. I need to take a look at the buildings. Um, just ask. Yeah, sure. Let's see what uh, she says. And we actually improved our domain size. Okay. Could hold one more castle. There's nothing we can do about the buildings except tear them down. And uh, with Countess Marquisa's ideas and the material we managed to salvage, new buildings would really outshine the old ones. Very good. So, friendly innovations... Build cost, local build time. Okay, so we should build something. I wonder if maybe we want to build a temple here. We have high taxes. Let's build a temple. And then let's start upgrading. Maybe a militia training ground. And we'll also build something here. A keep. We'll improve this for our kin. Because they have actually... This guy has actually done really well. So, let's upgrade his hold. This is what, uh, someone... Okay, the council has rejected this notion. That sucks. It really sucks. And now we're stressed again. That is problematic. Now, I'm not sure if we're actually going to see... Um, our son reach manhood. Wow. Only six... Yep, as just as I said that. Only six years old. And there we go. The... Strongest and most powerful man in the realm is now not King Charles V, but instead it's Duke Jocelyn the Just. He is 
yeah, just the strongest man on his own, but he's now also the regent. So that is pretty important. A succession crisis. Ooh. Well, Queen Constance has given up the ghost at toy 8 age 29. She died of pneumonia. Known to be kind, few had a bad word to say about her. A godly woman, Constance is with Jesus now. Yeah, merely six years old, the realm was left in the capable hands of the regent and council. So be it. <sighs> Four titles can be usurped. Well, I think that's not really the case. So we are perceptive. Our educator is Duke Jocelyn. We're curious as well, and a novice fighter. Um, and, uh, okay. I can appoint someone for the R Roman Empire. Oh, look at that. We can support ourselves. I think we should. Yeah, I will nominate myself. And then we need a new chancellor. Now, we're six years old. We are hardly going to do anything. So if he has any friends, they'll be appointed. The spy master Franz Julian. Then there is Count Eldrick of Chester. And Nicholas. I can grant him a... I can grant him estates. Well, would he do that? He wouldn't, really. He's a just man. He's actually a really great regent. I don't think I can appoint him either. Alright, fine. So, this guy is already... Uh, Court Jester's not gonna happen. His rival is this dude. Okay, well, so as Chancellor, Duke of Anjou really hates us. Child wants a seat in the council. Hmm. I suppose... Artois and Flanders. And this court chaplain will have you. Any other... Things? Nope. Okay. Charles has not only managed to retain his throne, he has done in a convincing manner. Very, very good. Okay, so there's a few people supporting us. King Charles. Gilbert has been supported by Duke Eustache. Duke Adebeld. And Duke Hamelin. Only three people. So we actually have more support than our mother had uh, during her succession crisis. So that's very good to know. Um, we can now crown ourselves. Uh, go for a royal coronation. We do not... Oh, we cannot... Because we have a region. That could be really problematic, actually. Hmm. Alright, fine. Then we'll just have to do without being crowned. I guess... Uh, this person... Is not our friend. What I will do is I will have... I will give you a little bit of something. I will transfer vassalage of this guy to you. That should make you happy. At least a little bit. She did vote for us. And maybe I'll make him our vassal too. But he's such an important commander. I, I think I will leave it at that. We will um, put our crown focus. Set our crown focus in our capital. As always. And just move on. We've lost a little bit of money in the process. I have the feeling. Yeah, but that's okay. And did he regain the duchy? I think he might have. I think he has regained the duchy. Let me see the direct vassals. Yes. Duke of Aquitaine has just regained the duchy of uh, whatever that's called. So he's growing much more powerful again. <sighs> really important man. Really important man. I'm actually going to make an important character. He's just uh, so cool. But, you know, he's a diligent man. Hardworking. He's very capable. Content. He's just... I think we're going to have a great time with him ruling France. It's going to be mostly a prosperous time. So I'm not feeling too bad about that. And he's also an educator. It's looking good. Okay, we do need a new court chaplain. All right, well, we'll pick the next best in line. I'll just go for it. And we might want to... Hmm. Is there something else we can do? Proselytize, improve religious relations. 
Maybe let's go ahead and do that. Improve relation with the Pope. Why not? Haven't been doing that in a while, but it could be useful. There's another Anglo-Saxon Liberation Revolt. Damn, they have no chance. And you want to marry... Some lady. She's really good, actually. 24 strong and perceptive. Wow. Well, she doesn't look like she's going to inherit anything. Oh, she's... Yeah, Agatha's daughter. Oh, she is amazing. I feel like we'll accept that. Athena Gold for an awesome bride. Cool, I'll take it. Yeah, now, we don't really have all that much to do at this very moment because... I mean, we're not really ruling. It's, <laughs> it's our region doing all the work. We could, however, look for... Mm, a betrothal, a possible betrothal. Someone great. Princes of a revolt. Well, that's won't do. Mm, okay, we've got the burger tax vassal improved again. I love this guy. I love Jocelyn. He's just cool. A little bit over his domain size, but that's fine. And we need a new commander. High Alman needs to be appointed as well. I feel like we would go for... Hmm... Well, another one of our mother's friends. Uh, I guess you would get one title. She likes us a lot. And a new commander needs to be appointed. Duke of Burgundy. Great. We'll pick you. I might actually auto assign commanders for now. Because it's obviously it's not going to be really our decision. So that's fine. So how's the rest of the realm doing? Nothing too important happening, really. I do wonder one thing. No, we have not yet had the Mongols invade. But they should invade relatively soon, actually. About... Now, really. I, I think 1208 is the uh, earliest they can invade if you go with the historical setting, which I have. It's late at night, and I get out of- oh no, I get out of bed to use the chamber pot. Julian starts calling my name, and I see a man hiding under the dining table. He notices me and whispers, psst, come over here. Hide with the man. Oh. Now he's friends with Jocelyn. Hide with the man. Now which one? Is it this one? He's a friend of Jocelyn, so I'll probably like him. Or, answer Julian. May lead to playful. Uh, oh, this is Julian. Julian's, um, you know what? I'm going to actually hide with the man. I hope this is the right decision. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Julian stops calling me after a while. The man says, I bet you this gold coin you can't hold your breath until I'm outside. Easy money. Gain prestige, gold. Huh. This is so strange. We're curious. I guess we'll take the money. Before I knew it, the man was running out through the door. He didn't even look back once. And we gained some gold. That's interesting. I wonder what happened there. But we're playful now. But I feel like it, it fits our curious nature. So there you go. Anyway, it's more of our... While more of uh, Agatha's daughters are being married off, they seem to be very... Very, uh... Good. Have a nice reputation in Pisa. Because didn't you just, just marry one of them? But you know what? I'll take the money. 300 gold. Awesome. Please ask more women. That's so cool. And the city has finished. This count has died, but he managed to have a daughter, so... Good for you. Good for you. We actually have two. Perfect. Now, we're still building a temple here. That's actually been started by our mother. We'll see the completion. And we'll do nothing for now. I don't think we'll threaten anyone. 
but improved relations with the Pope. It's always good. Let's see if our regent would he build? He would certainly build something, just something. So might as well just improve the staples. And I suppose library, pilgrims in chapel, a uh, chapel, soup kitchen. Just expand the sick house, maybe. There you go. That's fine. It's money well, money well spend, in my opinion. Okay, people are leaving our defensive pact. We are only eighteen percent threatening now. Not that it really matters. I think if 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 it was if we were to fight them, we would probably win. But at the moment, there's no need to expand. Really, we are doing fine as we are now. I could raise 23,000 men from the Duke of Aquitaine. Damn, this guy is just so... I'm, I'm actually amazed at how... Yeah, how well this Duke is doing. I mean, he's been holding on to his lands for so long. And yes, he had to give them up, you know, from time to time. But he's always conquering them back. Well, this, this dynasty is. And I, I like that. Anyway, uh, I don't think we would escalate anything out of control. Um, but we'll just continue on with this. And more prosperity in our lands. Perfect. Great to see. But I, I want this, this province to be booming first before I move the focus. And something has been built. How many men can we build? A thousand. 1,045. How many can we recruit in our capital? 1,500, I think. 2,000 even. Wow. Okay. Uh... I am now a bitter rival with Julian and Saint Gian the Kind is now a saint. I love the portrait. It's a nice little touch. And okay, another calling has inherited the city. Okay, so our influence is certainly known in this region here. Okay, we now have the wrong type of this holding. We could give this to Nicholas. He is a mastermind theologian. I think he would be the right one for this bishop break. But the council is actually against it. That is surprising. That's why are they against it though? Malcontent. Okay. He would simply oppose me. No particular opinion. Zealot. Turning a favor. And why? Why? Okay, he's pragmatist. The bishop. It's the bishop that is basically the problem. Because he's not happy. Ah. <sighs> Without the bishop. Oh, damn it. This would not really be an issue. Why is he unhappy? What if I was to give him a little bit of money? Would he be happier? I think so. Okay. So let's try this again. Your friend. Okay, that works. Perfect. Well, there you go. You get the bishop break. Awesome. Cool. Very, very nice. Okay, now we are going to have to spend a little bit more time in the Regency. Another five or six years. Uh, don't think too many strange things are going to happen. Uh, actually, is there another war here? What's what's happening? Okay, now who are you fighting to lose? Okay, attacking this guy. Cleaning up our borders. I like it a lot. But... Um, as I said, there's not going to be too many things happening. I will probably spend some time in between episodes going forward, just so we can get out of this Regency. And once we're closer to come of age, uh, I will come back. This was the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.